Hey everyone, this is Derek here and in this video we're going to be starting with another exciting new feature of the PUBG Mobile 0.7.5 Global Beta, pointed out to me by a member of my Discord by the name of Da Real Potato. so a shout out to you, and thanks for pointing out that there's now an estimated wait time displayed when you queue for a game. And this is useful because at higher ranks like uh, Crown, Ace, or Conqueror, it actually takes quite a while to match sometimes, and this is a good way to know how long you're going to be waiting for. So a nice addition and something I hope makes it into the final release of the game for sure because I think it adds quite a bit of value. And now we'll jump into some gameplay by another very familiar uh, member of the Discord to many of you, one of the original admins, uh, Medrisitio. So I know I'm saying your name wrong, I do apologize. Um, but basically we're going to be watching some pretty awesome gameplay from him as well as his squad a while back. And there are a lot of like quick flicks and stuff and just overall fun gameplay to watch. So here we go, we are on Miramar, and you can check out how fast he uh, scopes in, scopes out, gets those hits with that car 98K, as well as an eight times scope it looks like. So this is before the six times was introduced, so he went right to an eight times. This is probably, uh, what is that? 0.6.1 I think, so this is one update back, but very similar gameplay for sure. So they're calling out the drop there. The uh, drop is on the top of that roof. Uh, do we do a roof climb for that building or not? I don't think so. So I'll have to see if they head over that way, if they can indeed uh, get up to that drop or not. But they're starting to move up now. You can see there's a couple of people behind them. That was a nice headshot with the car 98 instant kill. So that person had no teammates. Could have been a bot. We're not really sure. There are some guys in the second floor of that warehouse. So yes, this is the one that you can uh, climb up onto yeah, the roof of I then. See, there's another supply drop plane. Uh, it's dropping very much in the same position. So that's most likely where the circles will be closing. And yes, indeed, it is towards where the next circle is. So that makes sense. You can see they are still camping out that warehouse, that other squad. It looks like a full squad or at least uh, at least three people. Unfortunately, they're doing a good job of moving around, and that's always just a good idea in this game, is you never want to stand still for too long, because if you're standing still, then you're a super easy target, especially for somebody like him with an 8x scope, and, you know, like I said, the second you stop moving, well, you're opening yourself up to uh, potentially get hit or headshot. That was a nice headshot, or a nice uh, body shot rather. That is definitely a bot because he went prone as soon as he was hit, but that doesn't make it any less impressive because that bot is very far out, almost on the edge of render range, I'd imagine, which is about 400 meters in this game. So that's how far people actually render out. Beyond that, you won't see people. They'll be invisible to you, you'll be invisible to them, and such is life. <laughs> So you can see here, he was actually knocked out by somebody with an AKM. That's really surprising. Um, I don't know exactly where that guy was, how close he was, but that was two shots with an AK. One of them, the second shot, was a headshot, so that does make sense. You can see there's another squad down there. We don't know what rank uh, they were playing in, but I know they're pretty high, you know, pretty high up there. So I'd imagine this was probably played in like Crown or Ace, I would think. Is either high diamond or probably crown. And Medrasito also has a YouTube channel, so I will leave a link in the video description down below if you want to check him out. He has some pretty awesome gameplay on there and just uh, tons of PUBG mobile stuff. He was one of the original create, you know, not uh, creators, but one of the original content creators too, who was making content for the game pretty much as soon as it came out back in March. So that's, gosh, about five months or so ago now. One is C45 just behind this tank, or whatever that is. You can see there's only 14 alive, so that's 10 others. Behind us, behind us, behind us. Suppress him. Where, 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 where? Behind us, 195. Near Pakondo. Okay, okay. 
that's a problem. So it looks like they had moved to that warehouse that they were shooting at earlier, or, and uh, now some people snuck up behind them, unfortunately, and were engaging them. And there's a guy against the broken wall there. He's calling him out. Wow, another knockout with an AK. That's surprising. And he got quite a few good shots in on him, but was able to once again get knocked out. He doesn't have a vest at this point, so that definitely isn't helping matters because that AK with the 7.62 does the most damage of any AR currently in the game. I will tell you where he I will tell you. I see, I see. Uh, just, just go. Uh, see at your left. Just a uh, Just a little bit more, little bit more. Stabbing himself it's rather it's aggressively it's with that needle. Behind the wall, behind the wall. He's behind that wall. Uh, now down to eight wound. people total. Oh, and they were reviving behind that uh, rock there. So that was a good kill. That was some teamwork there in spreading out, okay. trying to uh, yeah. flank them. Left. Yeah, I wasn't really paying attention actually to where they were in the minimap there, but generally if you have two people what you can do is just go at, if you know where the enemy is, just go at them from different angles. That way they can't, you know, they can use something like a rock as hard cover against one person, but they can't use that against both people. So eventually one of the people, you know, one of you guys will come around the side and have a clear line of sight to them which will force them to either retreat or engage you, and then the other person could run around. And You know, it's a very powerful strategy if you have two or more people to be able to flank in this game effectively. I don't have a vest, so... Yeah, he still does not have a vest, yeah, and that is so not a good uh, position to be in. It happens more on yeah, Miramar because I... Oh, yeah, here we go. We got some shots oh, coming at from the northwest or so it's gonna have to keep moving without that vest for sure and like i was saying on urangel it doesn't happen as much because i think there are more loot spots and it definitely won't happen on sonok but on miramar it's so open and so dead everywhere that uh, it's very difficult to just find you know gear late in the game if the game ends somewhere like here they are going to have to come down the hill too, unfortunately. They're going to have to go to them. To the north. Nice shot there, leading the enemy. Guys, move now, move now. Yeah, they're waiting for us to move. They're going to die anyway. Yeah, they are going to have to move down the hill here, unfortunately. This is a two times scope, but that thing looks massive. It's funny. Moves exact and take that this tanker as a cover. There's one more guy here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now there's only four people left. It could be a full squad. I don't think it is though. We'll have to see who is teaming with the uh, those last people. I think they can. Yeah, that's four. He sees him there. The guy was still peeking. It's a long time to peek. So for that guy, you know, obviously, not uh, not the best strategy because you know you open yourself up to getting hit multiple times by something as powerful as a car 98. It's gonna go ahead and stay boosted. That's always a good strategy, especially late in the game, because like I said, if you're fully boosted like he is now, you get a recoil reduction. Um, you also get a off? movement speed advantage and a fast heal over time. And as it decays, you'll first lose there he goes. He's yeah. throwing some smoke grenades to uh act as some cover. That's a good idea. Might as well use him. Here's one guy, he got a body shot in him. That was nice. And this is 6.1, so the smoke grenades are pretty useful. Uh, before this update, they were awful. They really didn't do much, but now they're pretty decent, actually. Calling out guys to each other, good strategy.
Unfortunately, his teammate is knocked out and killed. And he does not have a vest. So this is a 1v4. He knocks out one of them. They're running around. <laughs> playing like nice. That is ridiculous. They're running around. So that wasn't a full squad then. It must have been a 1v3 at the end there. But what an insane end to the game there. Gosh, what a what a crazy finish. They ended up running around that. He was able to get behind them. And that was enough to uh, secure the victory. So there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, game as well as that quick tip about the new matchmaking queue timer or estimated time of waiting uh, before a match, which was introduced with the PUBG Mobile 0.7.5 Global Beta. So my name is Derek G. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in a future video soon. If you enjoyed the video, definitely give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. It really does help the channel grow and consider subscribing if you haven't already for tons more PUBG Mobile content. So I hope to see you on the battlefield soon or in my Discord, which I'll leave a link to down below.